Hey, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Another question on uh, sequences and series and sigma notation, which um, is becoming more common now. Uh, this again taken from the UK A-level paper 2 from June 2018. And this question here is um, about this sigma notation. So it's basically something that means find the sum of this expression when you replace the R with 1 and then with two, then with three, then with four, then with five, all the way to 16, and show that it becomes this, this over here. Now, this is a weird type of expression for us to be able to do this. I mean, the long way to do this would be to put one into this, and two and three, and find that each individual, you know, 16 terms, what they are, and add them together. Now, that's a long process, but if you did that, you would get the marks. But the easy way to deal with this, and if you have questions which, of course, are almost impossible to do because there's you know so many numbers here, is to understand how sigma notation works. And it kind of works like integration in a way and differentiation in terms of I can you know find the sum of these things separately. So for example, I could say, let me take the sum of these like I can say, let me take three plus five r separately because that's a separate type of series to 2 to the power of r. This is like a geometric series because you're going to have 2 to the power of 1, then 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, and so on. And this is like a, a um, arithmetic series where you know, you're know you going to have 3 plus 5 times 1, then 3 plus 5 times 2, then 3 plus 5 times 3. So this is going to go up like by, uh, you know, 5s each time, okay? And this is going to go up in terms of 2 to the power of something. So this, this one's going to be multiplied by two each time. So they, they, this is a split up into two types of series. The first type is an arithmetic series, 3 plus 5r plus, and the second type is a series which is geometric to the power of r. So if I work out this separately and this separately, I should get my answer that I require. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first part of it, and I'm going to figure out the first few terms, and then I'm going to work out uh, what the sum of those terms are using the formula that we know. So the first term here is going to be 3 plus 5, which is 8. Then you have to add to that 3 plus 10, which is 13. And then 3 plus 15, which is 18. Plus, and the last term will be 3 plus 5 times 16, which is 80, 83. The last term will be 83. So let me just put plus dot, 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 dot. 83. So we can see that this is an arithmetic arithmetic series. This is arithmetic series, this part, this particular part of it. And this series is got a first term of 8, and it has a common difference of 5, and it has a last term of 83, and it has 16 terms. 16 minus 1 plus 1, 16 terms. So what that means is we can use this nice formula, Sn equals n over 2 times a plus l. That's a nice easy formula to know when we know the number of terms and we know the last term and the first term. So we say the sum of these 16 terms is 16 over 2 times a, which is 8, plus l, which is 83. Okay, so you end up with 8 times, and that's going to be 91. Okay, so we work out what that is. So you have 8 times... 91 that's right that's 728 so that part of this this part is 728 basically and then we got to find what this part of the sequence is so what we'll do is we'll find the sum of and we'll again we'll generate the first few terms see what type of sequence we have and then we can you know find the sum so uh, as we discussed before this is 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 2 i'll leave it in terms of powers for now 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, all the way up to 2 to the power of 16. I'm going to add all those together. So we can see here that this is a geometric series this time because we have to multiply by the common ratio, which is 2. If you divide a term with the term before, you get 2 each time. So here the first term is 2. The common ratio is 2. And the number of terms is 16. So we can use the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, which is a times... If the common ratio is bigger than 1, you have r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. So here we have the sum of the first 16 terms. Um, the first term is 2 times, and we've got the common ratio as 2 as well, to the power of 16 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. 
So that gives me basically 2 times 2 to the power of 16 minus 1. Let's put that in our calculator. So we have 2, 2 to the power of 16. And then take away 1 over 1. So we'd have to put that there. That gives you 131,070. Uh, 1, so that's 131,070. So now we can then find the total sum. Let me just move this down a bit. This is the second part of the question. Uh, we can therefore say, therefore, the sum from r equals 1 to 16 of the original expression, which is 3 plus 5r plus 2 to the power of r. 3 plus 5r plus 2 to the power of r. is equal to, and we have um, 728 plus 131,070. So that's equal to, if we just add to that 728, that gives us 131,798, 131,798, 798. Let's make sure. Yep, and I think, I hope, yes, 131798, that's exactly what we had to show. Okay, as required, we can write if you want. Okay, so we can be sure that we've got the right answer because the answer's there in the question. If the answer wasn't there, it said find. Supposing it said find uh, the sum of this, and they didn't have the answer. So you, you weren't sure at the end, you got this answer, you're not sure is it correct or not. You could check that in the exam. Okay, you can check that in the exam by simply using this um, function here. And this function can, should, not, should not be used except to check your answer because you, there's no point in, in doing it, otherwise you won't get any marks if you just write the answer down. And even in this case, of course, you have to show it anyway, so there's no, no need, no, no use for it. So 5, you're going to use the X button instead of R button here. And then plus 2 to the power of, so 2 to the power of, again, I'll put X there. And then we put in our limits, which are from 1, to the top which is 16 and it should give us the answer yep 131798 so if you didn't have the answer in the, the exam it said evaluate this and show all your steps in the end you could check to see if your answer was right by using this function in your calculator useful for you to know that all right now for part two it says a sequence is defined um, sequence u123 is defined by un plus 1 equals 1 over un and u1 equals 2 thirds. Find the exact value of r equals 1 to 100 of ur. So what they're asking us to find is the sum of from r equals 1 to 100 of ur, which means you've got to add u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u4 all the way up to u99 plus u100. So you've got to add up all the first the 100 terms of this sequence now, this sequence is generated by this recurrence relationship. So this tells you how to get to the next term from a particular term. So if you want, we know the first term is two thirds. Now, the second term is going to be the reciprocal of the first term, as you can see, one over un. So it's one over two thirds, which is basically three over two. So u2 is three over two. And you can see that it's going to just keep on going, uh, you know, like repeating because the youth the third term u3 is one over u2 so it's the reciprocal of this so you're going to keep getting terms you know you're going to have basically the first term is two thirds and then this is going to be three over two two thirds three over two all the way up to now you can see here all the even terms will be three over two and all the odd terms will be two over three okay so you can see there's a hundred terms Okay, if you want, you can do it in two ways. You can say there's, we're going to have 100 two-thirds, no, sorry, 50 two-thirds and 53 over twos. So you can say this is 50 times two-thirds plus 50 times three over two. Because there's 100 of them, there's going to be half of them, half of them are going to be two-thirds, the other half are going to be three over two. So you can just add those together. That's 100 over three. They want us to give the exact value, so we shouldn't, round it plus 150 over 2 so that's going to be over 6 that's going to be multiplied by 2 that's 200 over 6 plus um what was 150 yeah times 3 that's 450 over 6 so that's going to be 650 over 6 divided by 2 
that's 325 over 3. Let's just make sure of that. We have 100 over 3 plus 150 over 2. Yeah, 325 over 3, there's the answer. They're asking us to leave it in exact value, so don't round it or write it as a decimal. You can write it as a mixed number if you want, but that's fine. 325 over 3 in its simplest form, that's the exact value of this expression. All right, so that's important. Now, sometimes there's a, an issue where they ask you, and like there's an, here there's an even number of terms. It might be an odd number of terms, so you have to kind of figure out which one has got one more than the other. So, for example, if it was 201, the 101st term, would be two-thirds, which means that there would be 51 two-thirds and 53 over twos. Okay, so you've got to be careful when there's an odd number of entries because half it's not exactly split half-half. One of them will be one more than the other. Okay, so that's something to keep your uh, mind you know, sharp about. So that concludes this question number four, which is again about sigma notation and this both of them. And second one's got about recurrence relationships. I hope that was clear and will help you with your um, understanding of this topic and uh, answering questions that might come up which might be slightly like this um, thank you for watching other questions from this particular paper when I if I do get to answer them will be in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions from the topic of series and sequences in the playlist that will appear in this region over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking this link and you can watch this video which the link will appear over here which shows you how to use my channel in an efficient way to find what you need. Thank you for watching and see you soon.